Welcome to another piano tutorial quickie. This little piece is called Up and Down We Go. I actually wrote this one and I wrote it to help my students with their hand coordination. Here's my demo, off I go. Let's go through the music line by line. You can see that we're reading on the grand stave. We've got the treble clef for our right hand, the bass clef for our left hand. We're counting four beats in a bar. And it looks like if you scan across the music, our right hand is pretty much in this position. In our first bar, we're starting on middle C, followed by E, and then on beats three and four, we've got a G with our little finger. In our second bar, we've got G, followed by E, and then down to middle C for three, four. So the start of our little piece goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In our third bar, it's a little bit busier. We've got D with our second finger. One, and then E, F, D, and then finishing off. One, two, three, four on E with our third finger. So bars three and four are like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That whole first line goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you'll see that I'm choosing to play my little piece legato or with the sounds joined up. Let's have a look at the left hand. We've got a C and a G interval the whole way through. C with your little finger, G with your thumb, and we've got four semi briefs. Pretty straightforward. Go something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll play right hand and left hand together nice and slowly. Off I go. second line we're starting off on F my fourth finger will be on that F and I'm playing three of them on beats one two three followed by a G on beat four then down to E third finger for three beats and then D on beat four and then in bar three also busy we've got an F with the fourth finger followed by G with the pinky back to F down to E on beat four and then D with our second finger, one, two, it's a minimum, so we hold it for two, and then beats three and four, we've got a G. I'll play that whole line again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, let's have a look at the left hand. We've got a D and a G interval. D with your fourth finger and G with your thumb. Holding it down for four. One, two, three, four. In the second bar, we're changing that to a C and G interval. One, two, three, four. Third bar, we've just got D on its own with our fourth finger. And then finally, in our last bar, we've just got G on its own with our thumb. The whole line goes like this. One, two, three, four. Play line two nice and slowly. Excellent. Let's have a look at line three. No surprises here, exactly the same as line one. I'll play it anyway. Off I go. One, Analysis. 
analysis is golden. Sometimes you don't have to do as much work as you thought in the first place. In our fourth line, we're back on our Fs again, banging away on those with our fourth finger for three beats. One, two, three, up to G on beat four. So that's the same as the beginning of line two. And then we've got three E's. One, two, three, and then down to D. So again, that's the same as line two. A little bit different now though. We've got G followed by E, followed by F, D with our second finger, and finishing off on little C. Let's do the last line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Let's have a look at the left hand. We've got our D and G interval again for four beats. One, two, three, four. Followed by C and G. Two, three, four. A little bit different now. D and G. One, two. G for three, four, and then finishing on C and G for one, two, three, four. We'll do the left hand again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll put that line together nice and slowly.